Hello everyone in Longmont. Um, I'm Marcia Martin, one of your city council representatives, and I'm hoping to clear up a little bit of the confusion that I'm seeing and hearing about the transition between Governor Polis's stay at home order and the next phase of it, which is called safer at home. Um, here is the deal. The first thing you want to know is that Boulder County has chosen to extend stay at home all the way through May 8th, which means that until May 8th, nothing changes at all for any of us if we live in Boulder County. And for you Longmonters who live uh, in Weld County, I'd really like to ask you to go ahead and follow stay at home until May 8th with the rest of us. But the next thing you need to know is that it's not a big reopening as some people are assuming it is. It's really a very incremental change. And for most of us, very little should change. It's meant to be getting us back to work in a very safe way. So don't assume that it's masks off, invite everybody over to your house. That's not the deal. Individuals, whether they're working or not, should be practicing social distancing, mask wearing, extreme hygiene, just the way you always have been under the stay at home order. The things that are going to change are that some people can go back to work in their workplace. Workplaces are asked to have no more than 50% of their usual workforce on site. And as many people who can work from home should work from home. For the rest of us, Social distancing is essential. So when in doubt, just keep doing what you have been doing. It's been working well, and it's something that we're doing for each other. In order to find out what does change, please watch for specific announcements rather than making assumptions. You can call the Boulder County Health Department. They're our main authority for that. If you are a small business owner, you should probably check with your licensing authority and find out when your reopening is intended to happen because you're gonna have special uh, rules and best practices that uh, your licensing authority will probably have, be able to help you with. Um, everyone else, please cover your face. We're not wearing enough masks. Um, People that are working in essential businesses like grocery stores, um, pharmacies, the working for the city, all those people have to wear masks. But the government governor asks us to wear masks and we should. And finally, if you're an older adult like me, nothing changes. Nothing changes for us because we are in a vulnerable category along with people who have um, uh, special medical conditions that make them more vulnerable. And usually you know who you are. So if those of us who are in vulnerable categories, just keep practicing stay at home as you have been. For the rest of you, please wear masks when you go outside. Um, when you're interacting with someone who wears a mask, they're safer and you're safer if both parties are wearing masks. So let's do it. I'm very pleased at how everyone's been complying so far, but we have to go even further. And our further relaxation of the restrictions we're under now may depend on the compliance that we achieve, especially about wearing masks in public. Okay, that's all I've got to tell you right now, except Please keep writing and calling. I want to hear what your concerns are. I want to answer your questions. And I want us to stay in communication. I want to hear your ideas about how we can go forward better, safer, and maybe even faster if it's OK, if it's safe. All right. Have a good day. Be well. Do your best. Bye-bye.